Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Every once in a while, a tractor collector gets a real find, and Ryan Peters from Maxwell, Iowa, you've got one of those finds. Tell us about your uh, silver farm all. Well, this tractor is the 100,000th farm all, serial number 100501. It's a 1930 model, uh, rolled off the line April 12, 1930, and it was painted uh, silver color pretty much when it was made new, and there was the, the typical pomp and circumstance with the upper management, and they made a big deal about it. Uh, it was actually featured, IH had a magazine, that, there's a little write-up in there uh, back when this tractor rolled off the line, and uh, here it is now. Uh, IH never intended, they said they never intended to get rid of it. I found it, it was about 25 miles from the Quad Cities. So it came out of a fence row. I was buying a bunch of tractors from a gentleman that I'd bought some stuff from before and uh, it just happened to be this, so. How did you figure out that uh, this was the one you had, the 100,000? Well, um, you always hear stories about, you know, somebody, my grandpa had a Super M, we know the serial number, but it was sold on an auction, so on. So I started writing down serial numbers to keep track of this stuff because I actually have found a tractor through that method that my great-grandfather bought new in 1930. And so I wrote it down and I wrote the serial number down off the frame rail, didn't think much about it, went to the next tractor in line, sitting behind the shed, wrote it down, and then the 501 jumped out at me and I walked back and looked and sure enough there it was and I'd, I'd had it for years and didn't even realize what it was at the time it was just a because when I got it it was on cutoffs bad rubber sitting in a fence row the only thing that pretty much kept it alive was it was loose and I didn't I didn't part it out and here I was I had it for years and didn't even know what it was I thought it was just a, a regular regular had it been painted red at some point then in the days that uh, it was in use out in the field? It actually showed no sign of being red. There was gray on it, what little paint was left, and underneath that in a few spots under the hood and the gas tank there was remnants of silver and the hand crank that's on the front, I left it original, it still has silver paint on it. But it, it did not have any red on it whatsoever. So I don't know if they just never updated it and repainted it or they just left it to be but it also didn't have uh it doesn't have a lot of hours on it because everything on it was still pretty tight the steering gears on the front are they're the original steering gear and they show virtually nowhere drawbar shows virtually nowhere so i don't think the old girl had a lot of time on her so pretty easy life yeah uh what would a farmer have liked about a farm all regular back in 1930 well it's sure a lot better than a horse but i think the thing that set the farm all apart was you could farm all. You could plow with it, you could cultivate. They had mounted corn pickers. It was a very versatile machine in its setup and it was a tool that could do many jobs unlike say this motor cultivator that's sitting next to us. The farm all was very versatile. And how special is it for you to have this 100,000th farm all? Uh, I would say it's pretty special considering it's the only one. Um, it's it's one of the one of the prized tractors in our collection, so we like it. Why does a guy like you want to keep collecting tractors? I think it's fun. I actually grew up. My dad's a car guy. I grew up playing with cars and whatnot, and I it, he instilled the the mechanical end of my my fun spectrum, I guess you could say, and. Right out of college, I bought my grandparents' farm where my mom grew up. I was, I'm actually a city kid, grew up in Des Moines. It, it was just fun. I like stuff from this era, the 20s and 30s. Uh, the mechanical innovation, the manufacturing processes, and engineering that was in that time period is just, I mean, it, everything was leaps and bounds. I like it, it's fun. I, I figure it's a, if you're gonna spend money on a hobby, what better way to spend it than a couple old tractors. And uh, you like the history part of it too, do you? I'm a history buff. I like the story behind behind this and, and other tractors. And we, we've got tractors that were bought new from family members and we still have them. And it's, you know, it's heritage, tells a story. It's just good history to have. And bringing this uh, very special farm all to the Almond event, Let's Talk Tractors right here in Nacomas, Illinois. Uh, what do you think? Is it a good time to get together and have some fun? 
Uh, I think any tractor get together is a good time to have fun. You get to you get to see friends, uh, see other stuff you might not have have seen before, meet new people. You never know. You might even get interviewed. That's right. All right, Ryan Peters. Thanks for sharing the story of a very special farm all regular.